It's 6-11 now on your Tuesday morning. It's that time of year again. We need your help to make sure local kids in need have warm coats this winter. The Coats for Kids Drive is happening as we speak, and we've teamed up with our friends over at Tropical Smoothie Cafe to make sure everyone gets the help that they need. Tina Patel is live with more on the simple thing that you can do to help. Yeah, you guys, this morning is a perfect example of how it has gotten chillier. And if you don't have a coat and you're heading out the door this morning, you're really going to feel that chill. And unfortunately, there are just too many families in our valley that are suffering. And, and it takes a lot to get something new every year, especially kids growing so much. That's why this Coats for Kids drive is so important. And Dino Tropical Smoothie has been such a great partner. I guess every year it's kind of nice because you get to see everybody coming in and donating, right? Nothing better than actually, um, yeah, seeing people actually donate and having some moms bring their kids in and just kind of show them what it's like to give back that's really touching well we want people to come to any tropical smoothie around the valley throughout the month but if they come today to where we are then you're going to offer a little something extra right we're going to give away a $300 gift card to the family to the person or to the company who donates the most coats today and and like you said I mean anything really there's kids of all ages so if your kids have outgrown coats if you just you know are going and shopping and buying a new one and can afford to buy a new one anything really that's kind of still in usable condition right yeah new or gently used and um, we say from like little kids to adults um, all all shapes and sizes we definitely need and yeah we really appreciate it. some people actually went out and purchased new ones that's, and that's I mean that's awesome it's that's really fantastic good. you're gonna need it on a day like today we're at the tropical smoothie on Jones and the 215 just north of the 215. I'm going to be here all morning. Our friend Brian Schofield is going to be here in the evening. So go through your closets, grab those coats, come out and join us because it really is such a necessary thing. And we'll be here out throughout the day talking more about why we really need to uh, all kind of come together this time of year. Guys, right now we'll send it back to you. Tina, thank you. We're blessed with cousins who hand me down in my family. So mm -hmm. my kids yeah. get, but a lot of families in Las Vegas don't, don't right? Mm -hmm. So they don't get the you know what else? And... The adult coat thing is important because there are a lot of 14 year old kids were like six foot tall yeah. out there. I mean, you know, they wear adult coats, but they're still young, so yeah. anything you can is great. Well, it Plus, it's that time of year again. You're going to need to get out your winter coat to stay warm, and you can help us make sure that everyone in the valley stays warm. We'll tell you about our Coats for Kids drive coming up. Action News This Morning continues. Welcome back. It's time once again for you to open your hearts, clean your closets, and help keep kids warm this winter. That's why Action News is teaming up with Tropical Smoothie Cafe for the annual Coats for Kids Drive. We love doing this, and Action News reporter Tina Patel is live with how you can help. Good morning again, Tina. Good morning. The nice thing about the fact that we're getting coats is that I can wear an extra one or two because it is chilly this morning. But here's what we want you to do. We want you to go in your closet and get coats that you might have that you might not use and then come to any of the tropical smoothie locations around the valley. They all have boxes like this inside where you can come and bring your gently used coats or sweaters and we're going to make sure that they get to the kids that are in need because unfortunately every year we know that there are kids out there and families out there that are struggling and that's why they just need a little bit of help. This is the 13th year that we have done this drive and there has been such great response from the community. That's why we want you to keep it up. Now the location that we're at this morning is the Tropical Smoothie on Jones and 215. We want you to come here throughout the day. We're going to be here throughout the day so come say hi but come do your part and there's actually going to be a giveaway for the person, the family, or the business that donates the most coats. If you've got tons of these in your closet, go ahead, grab them all, bring them out here today. We want to do it, and we'll give a little something back to you. But really, that warm feeling that you're going to feel when you have a nice coat on, that's the warm feeling that we're hoping to spread throughout the valley today. So please do what you can. If you got, if you want to go and buy a new coat, we'll take that to anything. I might, unfortunately, Lisa, Casey, and uh, and Beth, I might wear a couple of these right now until the sun completely comes out to keep myself warm. But then you can see how good somebody else is going to look through the, uh, the winter as well guys. Good, good rationalization, Tina. Go. I like it. I like it. I remember how cold it was. I was out there last year for Coast for Kids. It is certainly a really great, great thing. And we appreciate everything that you and the community do to donate. It's very important. It, it, unfortunately, there is a huge need again this year. Mm -hmm. All right. Before we go, we do want to check in one more time with Action News reporter Tina Patel. She's out at Tropical Smoothie Cafe for our annual Coast for Kids drive. 
Yeah, good morning, guys. We're always talking about how here at Action News, we're trying to make Las Vegas a better place to live. You can do our your part to help us out this morning. Come by with any gently used coats or sweaters that you might have. We are donating them for kids that are in need. There are boxes like this at every tropical smoothie location. All you have to do is drop it off. Someone will clean it. Someone will make sure that they get distributed to the people in need. You don't have to do anything. If you come to the location here today where I am, that's on the 215 and South Jones, you can come say hi. You can also try to win a prize because Tropical Smoothie is going to give away a gift certificate to the person or to the company that donates the most coats today by 6 p.m. So please go in your closet if you're not using something Thing. If your kids have outgrown a coat, please donate it because there are so many families in need and it is getting cold out there so everyone can use a little bit of extra help to make sure we can get through these winter months. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Tina. You know, it's so heartwarming to be out there. I was out there last year and it's not just, you know, the people coming yeah. with used, gently used coach, which of course we appreciate. It was so heartwarming when I saw men and women showing up with brand new bags of mm -hmm. coats that they had gone out and purchased that morning. Right. You know, they went to Walmart, they went to Target, yeah, yeah, and they just, yeah. you know, purchased brand new things and brought it out. And we appreciate it so, so much. And, of course, so do the, the kids with the Salvation Army who are eventually going to be the recipients of these coats. A lot of these kids will wear coats that maybe don't fit them. Just mm -hmm. whatever the family happens to have, mm -hmm. that's what they'll put on. And these kids deserve to have coats that fit them so that when they head to school, they're walking proud, right? Yeah, so absolutely. as many sizes as we can get, as much variety as we can get, um, that's important for the kids too. And you know what? It's going to happen because it always does. Yeah. Isn't that amazing around here? Yeah. That whenever we put out a call for anything, donations, coats, school supplies, what have you, the community just rallies behind. I mean, everybody's made Las Vegas a much better place to live throughout the year, so we know we're going to do it this time. Coats for Kids, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, 215 and Jones. The most coats wins a prize. They can go to any location, any, though. Any That's tropical all day. smoothie, all day. But you won't get to see Tina. <laughs> Have a great day. Good Tuesday morning. You are taking a live look outside right now on the Strip at Mandalay Bay. Eric Church will be performing there, and we've got free tickets where you can watch while relaxing in a suite. We have tons to get to this morning. The blend starts right now. all performing later at Mandalay Bay as well. It's the that place to be. the concerts lined up. No question. Yeah. There's a lot of great concerts rolling in town. Good morning to you. I'm Jao Vu. And I'm Sean Tempasta. Good morning, everybody. A lot of fun new to get to uh, today. We get Doc Dogs in the house. Details on the Eric Church concert hookup coming up in just a little bit. So let's get right into it. First up this morning, we are helping keep kids warm this winter by providing them with much needed coats. That's right. Coats for Kids is going on and making a big push for more donations. Action News anchor Tina Patel joins us live at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Hey, Jones in the 215 with more. Oh, Tina, how are you, my love? I am doing good, except it is windy out here today, and that's actually probably a good thing because it gets everybody into the reminder that it, the seasons are changing, it's getting colder, and that's why this drive is so important. You know, what we ask for is gently used coats and sweaters that we can give to kids in need. A lot of people, though, are donating brand new. This jacket still has the labels on it. And if you are willing to go out and buy a new coat or a new jacket, we will certainly take it because there are so many families in need. Leslie Rogers from the Salvation Army is with me. Before we talk about the need, show this jacket because oh this is gosh, the cutest this is thing the ever. Cutest isn't it? thing? It's adorable. It says so right on the hanger. So we, 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 we're not lying. It says it. So it must be true. It must be true. And if I was just a little shorter, I could probably wear that. <laughs> we're taking really coats and jackets for kids of all ages all right? ages all sizes from the little teeny ones through high school kids and we'll probably have some adults that need coats but that's a whole that's another program but i'm just so appreciative of dina mitchell and tropical smoothies and all the albertson stores and the way the community always steps up for us tina it's just incredible well it's fantastic because this is the 13th year that we've done this drive and and you're right i mean every year people come in they pull up and they've got the like coats in the back seat and it's wonderful it's fabulous and we just can't actually wrap our heads around most of the time how much we get 
It's just fabulous. But it's really necessary. I mean, today is a good example of how cold it can get in our valley. I know we, we think it's not cold here, but it can be in the mornings and the evenings. Absolutely. And, you know, think about kids walking to school today in this wind. And if they're lucky, they have on a sweater. Otherwise, they're probably just in their jeans and a T-shirt. And it is cold. That's why it's so necessary. So if you have the means to buy a new coat or jacket, please come by and drop it off. If not, if you have ones that you don't use anymore in back of your closet, please get it. Bring it here. We, we can take donations at all tropical smoothies, but we're at the one on 215 and Jones. So please come by, say hi. And there's actually a chance of you even win some prizes if you donate a lot. So we'll talk about that more later on the show. But right now, we'll send it back to you guys in the warm studio. I'm it a little bit jealous. Nice. Compared to out there, it is. It yeah, absolutely, Tina. Thank you so much. Again, to help our kids stay warm this winter, donate new and gently used coats or and sweaters to any Tropical Smoothie Cafe now through November 3rd. Now, Phillips the Cleaner, take care of the cleaning for you. We're going to check in with Tina in just a little bit. Now, from keeping... Thank you, Sean. You can continue to help our kids this morning get the warmth they need this winter. Just head to Tropical Smoothie Cafe on Jones near the 215 and donate any used or new coat today, and you can meet some, some familiar Channel 13 faces. That's where we find Action News' Tina Patel. Good morning to you, Tina. I see you're still wearing your coat. Yes, it's getting a little bit better out here. But first of all, Dad, we have to thank all of the people who have already donated. Of course, one of our guests on the morning blend said that they were going to donate 50 used coats. We've had some people come by and already drop them off. And I am with Dina from Tropical Smoothie. She's, of course, familiar to all our viewers at home. It's really nice to see people give and they give every year don't they yeah they really do and there's nothing like having the community respond to something like this when we really try to give back to the community so it's we really couldn't do it without our customers and and we really appreciate them and especially i think that we've noticed today with the way the weather is i mean any little bit will help i mean if you have a nice one of the gentlemen came by he had he had several leather coats but i mean right. even a nice sweatshirt like the one that you're holding can really help a, a child who's a little bit cold walking to school yeah it's all about layers right some mm -hmm. Big jacket or layers and all shapes and sizes. Um, we need little kids to big kids. The high school kids also, you know, they, they're kind of adults. So if you have your own things that you're kind of tired of, why not donate that? Right. I mean, your kids outgrow things. Um, you outgrow things, or styles change. Or if you have the means to just purchase some new new coats or, or sweaters, they really help out. I think someone donated the San Francisco Giants sweatshirt <laughs> before they realized the Giants were going to make the World Series. Now this is a perfect gift. Or maybe they did, and that's why. <laughs> they were like, oh. well, tell people because you actually said that if people give like the person the family the company that donates the most right. you want to help reward them yeah first of all any company um, you know that that makes a large donation we're gonna give you a shout out on air number one number two the person or the company who, who brings in the most coats by 6 p.m. today will receive a $300 gift card for tropical smoothie and then additionally we're giving people a buy one get one free card that they can use at any one of our locations so generous thank you so much for doing what you're doing and for letting us hang out here because we are going to be here all day long. It's the Tropical Smoothie on the 215 in Jones. Really, if there's another one that's closer to you, you can drop off there. But come by here so you can at least say hi and then get these little goodies. And it's getting a little bit better, so I might actually be able to take off my coat. Maybe I should just, when I'm done with it, just throw <laughs> it in the it. box. Yeah, exactly. Good to go. Thank you so much, Tina. Again, donate new or gently used coats and sweaters to any Tropical Smoothie Cafe now through November 3rd. Tina Patel will be at the Jones 215 location this morning. Brian Schofield will be there this afternoon. Next up, dogs compete for the ultimate bragging rights, where you can see these highly... <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Hey, well, timing is everything. It's a blustery day, and a lot of locals are pulling out the winter coats because it's windy and chilly right now. The problem is... A lot of local kids don't even have a winter coat. Action News is helping make Las Vegas a better place to live with our Coats for Kids campaign. And Action News reporter Tina Patel has been live for us all morning long at Tropical Smoothie Cafe at the 215 and South Jones with all the details. Make, uh, good morning, Tina. Good morning, guys. We've already had a really great turnout. A lot of families have been cleaning out their closet, bringing by coats. Las Vegas jewelry and coin buyers said they are going to bring by 50 coats later on today. So we're so thankful for those of you who have already given, but we need more. Leslie Rogers from the Salvation Army is with me. Every year we just see the need in our valley grow. We do. And with the economy being what it's been, the need is even greater. And people who've never needed help before are now coming to us for help. So anyone who's willing to donate a new or very gently used coat 
Al Phillips, the cleaner, cleans all the coats for us, which is fabulous, and then brings them to the Salvation Army Family Services where they're distributed in November. It's so nice too because I don't think people realize just what a difference kind of a new coat and being able to be warm can make in the family's life. It's absolutely true and I thought about that this morning when I was driving here and, and saw a few kids on the road walking to school with a t-shirt on and I was cold. I mean I've got on a little jacket but I was cold so I can only imagine what uh, something like this, a gift of warmth can mean. So okay. we are going to be here all day. All of the things that we get, we are going to give to the Salvation Army so that we can make sure they go to the families that are really in need. If you have things that are in your closet that you don't use, or if you can go in out and buy a new one, we will take that as well. We're at the Tropical Smoothie on Jones and 215, and we'll talk with our partners from Tropical Smoothie a little bit later on in the show and talk about uh, what they're doing for us as well. But right now, guys, we'll send it back to you in the station. And Tina, how have the donations been going this morning? You've been out there all day. They have been really great, and you guys, what, what a lot of people have told us is that they didn't realize that we can even use something like a sweatshirt. I mean, some people think that all they need is like a big, you know, winter coat, and of course, if you have that, that's great, but even just having layers is great, and as we're talking, uh, some people are, are bringing by right now. Jason, I think we're going to get to pan over. The donations keep coming in. The reason we've done this for 13 years is because we have such a great community here in the valley. So we're going to keep here. We're going to keep talking to people like this that are giving. Right now, we'll send it back to you. Just keep you on the air, Tina. Yes. We'll make a ton of coats. There. Right. Good work out there. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back. So go to the Wild Fest this weekend. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mike. All right. Most of us think nothing about reaching into the closet to grab a coat when it gets a little cold around here, but that's not possible for thousands of local kids. Action News is trying to change that. We're sponsoring our annual Coats for Kids drive, and Action News reporter Tina Patel is live at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe at the 215 and South Jones to tell us how you can pitch in. Tina. It's so great to have people doing just that, pitching in. And in fact, in our last segment, while we were talking, Angie and her friend came over here and dropped off this giant bag of coats. Angie is from the Stratosphere, and this is, I guess, a joint effort? Yes, um, we found out about it last Friday and threw it together. Our employees came together and um, got this much. So next year, we're definitely going to make it even bigger now that we know about it. We're going to come full force for sure. You were even saying maybe going to the lost and found because you, you have things that, that shouldn't be wasted. Yeah. We, well, right now, anything after a certain amount of time is donated. So we're going to save that for this event and donate it here next year. Tell me, because I know this morning was chilly. I mean, do you, it's hard because we don't think sometimes that winter comes just like that. And there's families that don't have the ways we can bundle up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's so important that everybody gets involved and pitches in. I mean, one sweater, one coat, anything helps. Well, this certainly makes a difference. I so appreciate you coming by. I so appreciate you spreading the word with all the great employees at the Stratosphere. So thank, thank you, you so much. They brought 33. Now, here's the thing. The great folks at Tropical Smoothie are actually going to give a $300 gift card to the company, the person, the family, whoever gives the most. So we're going to be here all day long. If you have 34 coats, not saying that Angie's not great, but if you want to show her up a little, come by today. Donate. Regardless, even if you just have one, we can use it. There are so many families in need. It's such a great thing. I'm actually going to be taking off in a little bit, but Brian Schofield will be here throughout the afternoon. So please come by. We're at the Tropical Smoothie on South Jones in the 215. We're trying to do what we can because it's nice out now, but winter's right around the corner. And we can always use a little help. Guys. All right. Thank you, Tina. It looks like the folks from the stratosphere are winning that competition yeah, so at this far, point. You know what? You still get in on this. Yeah. Give a shot. All right, stick around. We have a full recap of last night's Dancing with the Stars after the break. But first, are you looking for a break of your own this Action News Live at 3.30 continues. Well, the weather's definitely getting cooler, so it's time to start thinking about ways to help uh, make sure that kids around the area stay warm this winter. And that's why we're teaming up with Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and we would like your help. Right, we're asking people to donate our Coats for Kids campaign and give away a gently used or new coat to a kid in need. Chief Meteorologist Brian Schofield is live at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe at the 215 in South Jones. Keeping warm, Brian? <laughs> Oh, you know, we definitely picked the right time of year to do this. Little wind, cold air. I needed a jacket and I wasn't necessarily prepared. So our kind sales guy, Steve, threw on this uh, KTMV jacket. Thank you. See, and I'll probably donate it afterward. See, the generosity starts here and might end here too. Dean is here from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Uh, you've had a lot of people come down, but we need more. 
Yeah, we have, Brian. Uh, we've been really lucky. We had a company earlier that came down with 99 coats. We had the Stratosphere come in earlier. All of their employees donated. We had 33 coats. And then uh, we had a local business, um, Las Vegas Coin and... And jewelry actually and donated. Generosity, 50, right, right. coin and generosity. New, new name. <laughs> did you, did they you brought some coats as well. Yeah, but um, you but know, you only need to really bring down one. We'll take something in the back of your closet, new or gently used. Yeah, absolutely. Either one. Um, all sizes, all shapes and sizes, tiny to large, and we've actually been really lucky to get a lot of lot of new ones too. Yeah, a lot of new coats, but like I said, new and gently used. Now the key to coming down today, we'll be here till seven, mm -hmm. is South Jones. I don't want anyone to go all, all the way there. So two fifteen <laughs> South Jones Tropical Smoothie. This looks locations open 24 hours but we're here till 7 and we really want people to come down come down to say hi and uh, really come down and say hi to Dina and myself and everyone else and bring a coat or you can also donate to any location here in town there you go additionally but we won't be there we won't be there that's the key we want you to come and say hi all right back to the desk I always have fun with this campaign too. Yes. I love to see the people coming and just having a good time being so generous so thank you everybody it's lots of fun right now with Warren the Ryan. Been blowing around. Where did Dina go? Do we, Dina? Are you? Oh my God! Dina's gonna tell us next hour how you can get a $300 gift card. Is that right? Yeah. All right, stay with us. As the temperatures start to cool down, Action News is teaming up with Tropical Smoothie Cafe once again to make sure kids in need have a warm coat to wear this winter. Chief Meteorologist Brian Schofield is out at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe at the 215 in South Jones where people are donating their gently used or new coats already. <laughs> and he's you, in another coat. Yeah, you look good in that coat right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is I your found third one coat. that fits. <laughs> it's it's my good. third. They all stay here. I'm keeping the coats local. They're going to stay here when I leave. <laughs> hey, let's get Dina in here again. Because Dina has a challenge she's throwing down. We want to collect coats for kids. We're at Tropical Smoothie. You heard them. South Jones 215. What's your challenge? Well, so far, the most coats that or sweaters that somebody has brought has been 99. 99. So That's a lot. That's a really good challenge. It actually is. It took a while to count. But, um, you know, I don't know if it's possible, but if we can get at least 100 Get coats, one more than that. Yeah, just 100 coats. I have a $300 gift card for somebody. For that person going to gather up 100 coats by when? By 6.30. <laughs> so a little less than an hour and a half. It's Vegas. Anything can happen I believe you. Vegas. I believe, and I believe in the people of Nevada. I really do. So you've got time. You can get 100 coats together. Bring your friends. $300 gift card right there, and you can start spending. This is a 24-hour location. Let's take a look at the coats we have so far. Jay Romano, the Photog, taking a look around. We could use more. We could, I don't, I'm not seeing the 99. You must have packed them away. Yeah, we did. You already did. Yeah, okay. we did. And you know what? Salvation Army helps do that. Box Brothers have the boxes. So we really appreciate all, everyone's help. Yeah, definitely. We couldn't do it without actually our customers responding as well and bringing them down. And they are. They keep driving up. There we go. Thank you. Bring that code in. <laughs> all right. Back to the desk. We're here. We want everyone to come on out. Brian, thank you. That's a great challenge. I, I know yeah. there's somebody out there that has 100 coats. Yeah. Call your neighbor. Get them right. together and get that Yeah, you might even see card. Brian wear one before <laughs> the night's all over. Let's go to Kristen now uh, with a little bit more on this cool down. Thanks, Christian. Certainly getting cool in the mornings as well, if you haven't noticed. And some kids in the Valley are already going without a warm coat this year. That's why Action News and Tropical Smoothie Cafe are working together to change all of that. Just head for the local Tropical Smoothie Cafe at the 215 in South Jones and uh, help out our Coats for Kids campaign. Brian Schofield is there right now live with an update on how things are going. Winding down, so if you're going to do it, get a move on. Uh, no kidding. It's going very well, and we do appreciate anyone bringing one coat to 10 to even more than that. We'll take whatever we can get. It's obviously for a good cause. Let me bring in Dina one last time from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Now, tell me the process. When I'm a person who pulls up in the car and goes right into your store, drops it in the box, where does it go from there? From there, um, with Channel 13's help, they are collecting... That was a good plug. We like that. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like you set me up for that. Um, <laughs> They're going to be collecting them and distributing them to uh, the Salvation Army, who then is going to drop them off to Al Phillips, who's going to clean the coats. And then the Salvation Army then is going to distribute them among the families that are that are needing. So families have signed up for this, and then uh, the Salvation Army takes care of it from there. Yeah, the families are signing up with Salvation Army, and, and you know I think they try to take care of all their needs, and this is one that we try to help them out with. I love that. I really do. And the Box Brothers supplied the boxes to put the coats in. 
Yeah, you know, all this stuff, um, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do a, a successful promotion without everyone's help. And more importantly, from the customers, the customers mm -hmm. responding to our call. So. And they really are responding. The cars haven't stopped. We do appreciate it. That's why we try to reach out to the community. We know how generous Nevadans are. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, eventually, we'll have a big total, and we'll probably say it on the air. But this goes on till the end of the month. We're just out here today to try to get as much as we can, obviously. But uh, really, through the end of the month, please donate to any Tropical Smoothie Cafe. A new, a new or gently used coat. Yeah, this was this is a borrowed coat from this pile because it is chilly. You know, see, they're for big kids too. Any size coat. All right, back to the desk. <laughs> Prime, thanks, Brian. Thanks. Looks good on them. Coming up later in tonight's ABC Prime.